Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you would be in a fine mood and sound health. Dear students, schools have been thrown open for the physical mode of teaching right from 1st of March 2021. Now it's a better move to attend schools regularly so that you can have live interaction with your teachers by which you can learn the things well. Dear students, the COVID-19 infection is showing hike. Better is to follow all SOPs in letter and spirit so that this deadly virus can't catch you. You have to maintain social, phys social or physical distancing, wear masks so that this deadly virus can't catch you. It is mainly through the human contact this virus catches you. Dear students, last year turned the victim of COVID-19 pandemic and we hope this academic session would go smoothly ahead. Dear students of class 12, the subject English, today we are dealing with a very important poem in your textbook of English that is a thing of beauty. Dear students, thing of beauty is written by a great romantic poet John Keats. Dear students, a Greek lanyard happens to be the basis for a thing of beauty summary. A Greek lanyard shuffled by name as Indo mine had a vision of Santhia. The moon goddess. He makes a resolution to seek her. In the search, he wanders here and there among the woods or foresters under the sea. The poem tells us about these beautiful things because these beautiful things provide us a lot of our immense happiness pleasures. Dear students, whatever surrounds us is a beautiful world. And a beautiful world is full of or laden with the beautiful things. And all this is God's creation. And God's creation is the source of pleasure and happiness for us. The poem tells us that the stories of brave soldiers inspire us and brings in us energy and enthusiasm. It is man's nature that sometimes he or she, a person, he or she, turns sad. And sadness is removed from us by things of beauty. Take an example, when you are say, sad, you go to your park, you go to your garden and see the things of be beauty is there. This finally turns you a jubilant one, a happy one. So your sadness is removed by things of beauty. Their student is good health. And we should maintain because it is a source of happiness. And the things of beauty is the source of good health which is then the everlasting joy. This is the crux of the poem. I am repeating the things for you. A thing of beauty is a poem written by a great romantic poet John Keats. A Greek lanyard happens to be the basis for summary of the poem. A Greek lanyard shuffled by profession, shuffled by occupation, 
had vision of Santhia, the moon goddess. He makes a resolution and to seek her in the cast or in the search, he wanders in the woods or forests under the sea. But these are all the things of the beauty. In the poem it is mentioned that these things bring a lot of pleasure in us. God's creation on the earth are the things of beauty and these beautiful things provide us a lot of pleasures, a lot of happiness. When we hear the stories of brave soldiers, they inspire us and bring in us enthusiasm and energy. The things of beauty is a mountain of nectar for us. When we are sad and sadness is removed from us by these things of beauty and finally these things of beauty maintain our health because when sadness is removed our health is maintained and when health is maintained it brings in us everlasting job. Dear students, this is the crux of the poem. Hope you might have grasped the concept or the summary of the poem. In case of any confusion or query that may strike your mind, after watching this video, you can call me on 7006671106 or WhatsApp me on the same number. And when you forward your query by any means, by calling, by whatsapping, by within short duration of time, your query or confusion shall be cleared. But what is a good thing? Good thing is that if reference book of English is available with you, you must see these things, see this poem, see its summary there. If it is not available with you, see this poem on your textbook, so that you can get the things in actual. Dear students, hard work and self-study is the mantra in your hands by which you can achieve everything in your life and you would be the achievers. Dear students, you have to work hard, you have to make self-study. My prayers are with you. Do work hard, make self-study and you would find your boat on the bank. Thanks. Be blessed.